This is Ralph with 13 Peppers. I'm not trying to be funny here, but today we're going to try ourselves the peach turd sickle. Regardless of me seeing five decades come and go, I still giggle like a little 12 year old when I see the term turd sickle. <laughs> it's not ever going to get any better. And that is the only reason I bought these peppers. I was actually looking for seeds last year and I was at ohiopeppers.com and they had this pepper and seeds on there. So yeah, I bought it on name only. So gotta love that. Now, when I was doing the research out there, I really couldn't find that much information on this particular pepper or the creator of the turd sickle peppers. And it was actually interesting to find that there is multiple different type of turd sickle peppers. So that was something new to me. It's great always learning something new. Now, what I did find is that this is actually a variant of the orange turd sickle, which is actually a little bit bigger pepper and a little bit thicker walls on it. The other thing that they actually tell me that this pepper is also even though it gives you kind of a peach salmon type color on here it is just basically a heat forward pe forward pepper it does not going to have any citrus any really flavor notes or anything like that that this is just going to be a straight hot pepper and with that the heat levels that i am actually reading about that i um, looked up will range from anywhere between 900,000 and 1.2 million so we're looking at, I'm gonna say roughly ghost level heat because I mean, honestly, this kind of looks like it might have been a variant of a ghost pepper. I don't know that as a fact, it's just kind of shape and everything else on that. So yeah, with that, let's go ahead. Let's cut this open and give this one a taste. I have my peach turd sickle here and this is absolutely gorgeous of a pepper. So let's go ahead, see what it's gonna look like here. Wow, I got juice that actually pulled out of this when I cut it open. Um, now the walls are not necessarily super thin, but they are on the thinner side. Um, got some placenta kind of runs down through the whole thing. Seed wise and everything, yeah, about 20 or so seeds. But I had this aroma that came up as soon as I cut this open. Wow, God, I am so looking forward to this. Oh, and I'm looking here. I got it's like juice is like pulling, so very, very, very cool. Do you really want to know what sucks about making pepper videos and tasting videos? Is forgetting to hit record when you actually eat a pepper. <sighs> Wonderful. But <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and let's recreate what I've already done once before. But um, I have half the pepper here. If you can see the uh, placenta and seeds in here, I had to cut open another pepper. But um, when I cut this open initially, I didn't actually have any scents, flavors, or anything like that. But when I do bring it closer and I smell, I do get a faint hint of floral and a faint hint of um, fruitiness. So, and the last pepper I ate, that didn't actually show up. I'm hoping maybe it shows up now, but um, whew, let's go ahead and try this new half for you. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Once again, I do get a slight hint of floral. It is a very pepper heat um, pepper. It's just straight heat. <clears throat> I do have it as kind of like an all around mouth burn. Mostly on my tongue. I do have it kind of inching back towards the top of my throat, but mostly towards the back top of my tongue. This, and when I was reading, is kind of comparing it to a ghost pepper. To me, ghost peppers actually have a little bit more flavor this is just a harsh heat. So <clears throat> if you're looking just to spice something up for just straight heat, not any kind of specific flavor, and great, great pepper for that. These are above a ghost, just like the last one. I'm gonna say 1.1 million. 
Ghost will top out right about a million, depending on which fruit one that you're eating. Yeah, it's just a straight heat. Kind of wish it actually had a good flavor to it because it looks gorgeous. I mean, it is a beautiful, beautiful pepper. I know this is gonna take a little while to actually get the burn down, so I will speed it up at times here. For the most part, it's basically top of my tongue. It kind of inching towards the back of my throat, <clears throat> not really in the throat. It sucks when it gets there, but <clears throat> not really there. It just sits and it takes a little bit to peak, not much, 15, 20 some seconds. You start feeling that really burn, it gets it to about that level, <clears throat> but then it just stays very consistent. And I get to experience this for the second time. <laughs> yeah, last time I recorded this, I can't really see the cameras in front of me. And normally before I was able to see the little record on the screen that kind of flips around. I can't actually see that anymore. I actually picked up two box lights to sit on either side of the camera to just to help with lighting. Because I had a big problem. It's helped greatly just the, um, the video and the colors. And you can tell when I speed it up, <clears throat> it kind of goes light, dark, light, dark. And that's due to the camera and an auto white balancing function. I'm still working on getting the camera down, <clears throat> even though I've had it for two years, trying to learn all those little things because I'm not a really a camera guy, but. <sighs> Heat level and everything is starting to drop now. I would say I'm probably about 75% um, <clears throat> from what the initial burn has at its peak. Once again, it's <clears throat> just basically on the tongue. It kind of moved from the top of the tongue down to the sides just a little bit, still towards the back not on the tip so but it's just a straight heat it is just a straight harsh heat um it's not a and what i mean by a harsh heat i mean it just it just burns the pins needles fire um <clears throat> you can eat a super hot and it will burn but you still kind of have some flavor on it this has doesn't have any flavor it's just a straight burn Similar to a gasoline pepper, if you've ever eaten one of those, whew, those, those are just, that's just a harsh, harsh burn. Even though this is not too hot, like I said, it's probably about, it's a bubble ghost, probably about 1.1 million. But it's just the intensity of it, I guess. <clears throat> so, what to do with the pepper? I don't know. Probably just go ahead and dry it to make some sauces out of it. Not sauces, but just some powder out of it. That could be decent to add to something just to increase the heat level. But since it really doesn't have a flavor, I don't foresee it working really in a sauce. So yeah, probably just gonna go ahead and dry those. <clears throat> so, well yeah, I'm getting closer down to 50%, so yeah. I think I'm gonna be good about right there. So what I'm gonna do here is, mm, excuse me, I ate two peppers here, kind of back to back and my gut doesn't like that too much. So, <laughs> oh well, hey, it's part of the enjoyment. But I'm gonna go ahead and let's call it here. And I wanna say thank you all very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed what you've seen here, please subscribe to the channel. It does help me out greatly. You can follow me on a couple of my social medias or you can head to my website down below. There I actually sell seeds, peppers, and spices that I make from all the peppers I grow out of my home garden. But with that, I am Ralph, this is 13 Peppers, and you have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day.